All right, welcome back. We're today unboxing our goodies from Rock Auto. We have tie rod ends. We're basically rebuilding our uh, front steering. When I put the steering stabilizer on, you could grab hold of it and it was, I mean, it's not very good and it's very loose steering. I don't think it's ever been changed since 81 so we're gonna go ahead and change all that see how it helps with the steering and uh after this video we're probably going to do uh the power steering box and then probably clutch so uh we've got a lot of stuff planned to get the old truck going uh driving better but let's get started okay here we go the first one bolt that will come off will be right here the second one will be on this pitman arm uh and the third one will be on this side then we'll have the bolts from the steering stabilizer to come off uh, i think we're going to try to reuse our adjusting sleeve or i may order new ones i don't know i'm just worried about getting it off right now so i'm not going to get ahead of myself so First thing we'll do is pull up, you can see here, they have like these carter pins in them. We gotta get those carter pins out and then remove the nut and then take this down. I'm hoping that we won't need a pickle fork because I don't have one. I've got several pry bars, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, you got my son and his glorious mullet to take off the steering stabilizer. I got the carter pins out. That was much harder than I wanted it to be. So that's not a good indication about the rest of it, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, we've got a seven eighths inch socket, half inch drive, cause this is probably gonna be a booger. Righty tighty, lefty, a If we can't get it with this, Oh, broke so good. Get this one on now, and then we'll move over to the one on the pitman arm and over there. And then hopefully it comes off easy. Oh, I might need a persuader on that one. Bar. And persuade it. Okay, we've got one out with the hammer. So, I mean, it's looking good as far as not getting the pickle fork. I'm actually hitting down on top of this to uh, knock it through. Yeah, we're going to get a pickle fork. Back here with the 81, working on the tie rods. Got this bad boy, Miles, you know what that is? Looks like something. Looks like something. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's that, that's that pickle fork. Yeah. Or a tie rod separator. So we've got this bad boy. We're going to try to do a little persuading with. Mm -hmm. So we'll get this down there. This goes like between the, where the tie rod meets there and you drive it in and it separate, hopefully separates that as we knock the far out of it. All right, let's get to it. Get it in here, see how it goes above the joint there. And we've got our small persuader and then we have our big persuader. Hopefully we won't have to go to that. So let's see what we got. Okay, we got her started. Now we're gonna undo it. 
just like that. She's off. So that makes it a pretty good deal. We beat the crap out of this thing yesterday and didn't get nowhere. So uh, you don't want to have one of these? I think we gave, I gave $16 for like a rental, but the dude said just keep it. And I don't know how much they are. So I'm just gonna keep it. It's handy to have around. It cost me a day not having it. So we'll just keep her around. I'm gonna move on to the next one. Persuade it a little bit. And then move on. Next one. She's out, we'll get her table out and uh, get it up on the table and start putting our other one together. We'll go from okay. there. As you can see, we've got our assembly here. We're gonna lay our, other, our new one up against it. And uh, what we're gonna do is when we put our adjusting sleeves on, we're gonna hold it up here and try to put them like at the same distance away and stuff just to get a uh, get it put together and put back in there and then we'll go get it aligned so what we're going to do let's see how this works okay we're going to go here to here and this one gets on like that okay I'll tell you one thing that not as fond of as it don't have greasable fittings but uh that should be all right okay we got that and then if you look on these boxes we've got uh, tie run ends and they're the exact same thing except if you look at the part number on the top we've got right and we got left so I don't know if they're identical or not, but be sure to put the left on the left and the right on the right, just in case. One thing I thought with this, and it, uh, it ended up being left-handed threads, and what we're gonna do is try to get it down to the, close to the same distance. And then install this side. This side's bigger, see that? See that there. And then we're gonna put these bad boys on, clamp her down, and then we'll get the alignment shop to get it right when we get there. Got it laid out here, we've got this one together. Um, we got it as close as we can. I even counted the threads, but they'll still have to line it up, of course. But uh, this was one of the bad ones, and this one you can see, I mean, it's just, there's nothing even there, no resistance. That one's not as bad, I don't think. So we're gonna start on this side, the adjusting sleeve, and then the right hand. And uh, the adjusting sleeve on the other side after, Five minutes of trying to get it on, spread it apart and everything else. My son said, maybe you're twisting it backwards. And I was like, no, I wasn't. And he said, I was, it was left-handed threats. So give him this mullet credit for that one. And uh, let's see if we can get this one on there, Miles, while they're watching. There's a left-handed threads. It's not cooperating. See, I'm again trying to, it's just unnatural. Mm -hmm. Did you fart? No. Miles, I feel like you farted right now. This one's a daggone. Look at that, this one's right-handed thread. What the crap? So you're telling me that the left side was left-handed and the right side was right-handed? What about that? We 
weird. So we're gonna screw this bad boy on there. That's weird, I, man. I was about to say, I think you're twisting it the wrong way again. Never doubt my swag, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. My old man swag. Okay, so get it close as we can. Think about right there. Looks good. I mean, I'd say. We'll count these threads, which it, it's not gonna put it perfectly in line, but for some reason it makes me feel better. So I'll count the threads. Then we'll start this other one. Get the nut off. Uh, I'm going to reuse one of the old Carter pins because up oh, there it is. Wow. Well, magic man. What about mm -hmm. that? Yeah. I was getting ready to say mullet man lost a harder uh -oh. pin, but I just found it, so mm -hmm. credit to me. <laughs> All right. I found the other two. Mm -hmm. I told you. I hope I still have to open it more. After beating and prodding and prying, tie right in, send to this sleeve. Uh, thinking I had the wrong one. Went to town, got another one. It's the same. It wouldn't fit in the other sleeve. It was bigger. I got to looking on the old one, and one side is actually bigger than the other. So I was trying to put the right side on the left side. Because I'm looking at the vehicle, right side, left side. Instead of Passenger side, driver side, which would make much more sense. You wouldn't have to wonder which one's which. But now we finally have got it going on there. Getting ready to uh, put the bolts to it, crank her back down and put her on there. Finally. So right now we're just uh, running it down where it is almost the same size. I think this one has a lot more threads on it than the other one. So I can't really count the threads on this, but what I'm gonna do is keep spinning it until it's about right. And then like I said, I'll let the alignment shot be the rest. Let's see, a couple more turns. Too far off. about right so we'll put our bolts in run that up since we got the right one on the right side now that's why I'm, uh, I do these videos uh, I mess up so you don't have to also messed up on one of the other videos that I'm making and we're gonna have to do a repair for it so but if I ever have to do this again I'll know and if you watch this you won't make the same mistake Okay, we finally got this back together, and uh, just let me tell you some things that will save you a lot of time if you're new to this like me. One, there's two different sizes. There's a right and a left, and the right don't mean passenger side. The, the left means passenger side, so, I meant driver's side, so watch carefully when you take your other one off to see which diameter they are so that you can switch it over. Uh, I tried to get the other one on so long that I boogered up the threads on the uh, new adjusting sleeve. So we had to take the old adjusting sleeve off. What I did was paint it so I could see where it was initially and took it off and then I held these down and uh, backed it back to there. And uh, the bolts were real corroded and stuff so we Put them up to the bench grinder, took a wire wheel to it, cleaned them up pretty good. We're going to slide those in there. Look, we have turned a hour job into half a day. Half a day, two trips to the parts store. Uh, 
canceling Rock Auto orders. I mean, and that's literally all my fault. They, it was the right stuff. I just had it on the wrong side, had the wrong sleeve and uh, all that. But thank the Lord we've got her back together now. And uh, we're gonna finish tightening these up on here. And then we're gonna put it on the truck and we might wait till tomorrow to put it on the truck because we are smoked. Thank you. Okay, we decided, heck, we've spent all day. Might as well do the last part too. And by we, I mean me. Mm -hmm. so, sure. so I'm going to put these, I've already got these tightened up. So I'm gonna put these quarter pins in and then hook back up my steering stabilizer and uh, we should be good to go. Go get her lined up and check her out. So you can see there, everything's nice and buttoned up, nice and tight, looking good. We're wore out, but we got her in there. All right, it's nighttime, but we got her done. I'm gonna take her for a test ride, see how she rides. 